My name is Eddie Hull. I'm the owner of Hull & Son Well & Pump Service. We've been in business uh, for over 100 years. We do services from domestic, uh, irrigation, geothermal, anything you can think of, we do it. Well, today we're going to install a Grumpfus 22 SQE 3-inch uh, pump. The 3-inch SQE is the only pump we install in the older wells. In our area, we have a lot of rust buildup, and the ease of the install of the 3-inch pump is hassle-free for us. Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to properly install an SQE system in a residential application. Be sure to check with all your local guides before you start the job. Hey Eddie, you ready? Let's go. The Grumpus SQE is the only constant pressure pump on the market with built-in electronic controls which allow for advanced control and monitoring via the CU301 and Grumpus Go app. The SQE motor designs a variable speed drive which electronically changes the operation speed to match demand providing homeowners with constant pressure. The SQE constant pressure system is composed of four major components. The SQE pump, CU301 controller, a diaphragm tank, and a pressure transducer. During pump operation, the CU301 will adjust the pump speed to maintain a constant pressure. To stop the pump when no water is consumed, the CU301 performs flow detection every 10 seconds. The pump speed is reduced and pressure is read. Pressure drop indicates the water is being used and the pump continues to operate. If the pump speed can be reduced without any pressure drop being registered, this indicates that no water is consumed. The diaphragm tank will be filled with water and the pump stops. Select the correct SQE model for the well based on minimum and maximum head at rated flow. The SQE can be installed in a vertical or horizontal position. If there is a risk of sediment buildup in horizontal applications, a flow sleeve is recommended. Now we'll start by wiring the pump. Even though smaller gauge wire can be used on this product, ensure that you have the correct size for your pump model. The SQE is a two-wire pump. Begin by cutting the pump lead off. Then cut the end of the drop cable so that the ends match up with the motor lead. Strip off one inch of insulation from the lead, making sure to scrape the wire bare to obtain a good connection. Then cut the end of the drop cable so that the end will match up to the motor lead. Make a connection between the wires by inserting a connector or joining the wires. Then use heat shrink to seal the connection. Once the connections are complete, double check that the pump is properly grounded and connected to an external main switch. When you're ready to lower the SQE, attach the first section of riser pipe to the pump. Do not lower or lift the pump using the motor cable. The pump should only be gripped by the two flats at the top of the pump. When plastic pipe is used, a stainless steel safety wire is recommended for lowering and lifting. In this case, the wire should be fastened to the eyelet on the pump for lowering. When lowering the SQE, ensure that the installation depth of the pump is at least three feet below the maximum drawdown level of the well, with a maximum installation depth of 500 feet below the static water line. The bottom of the motor should never be installed lower than the top of the well screen or within five feet of the well bottom. In order to provide protection against the possibility of an overpressurization, a pressure relief valve should be installed downstream of the wellhead. When the SQE has been lowered to the required depth, a well seal should be installed. When the pump is secure, add the pressure tank to the system. The CU301 is designed to work with a two gallon diaphragm tank. Next, the pressure transducer is installed. The sensor end should be threaded into a female pipe fitting while the cable is wired into the CU301. The pressure sensor keeps the pressure constant at the place where it's installed. The CU301 is rated for inside or outside use. If the 301 is installed outside, we recommend that you keep direct sunlight off the unit. The communication between the CU301 and the pump is via the power supply cable. Since you have already connected this cable and the pressure transducer to the CU301, only the cable to the main power switch needs to be installed. Complete this connection. You are now ready to activate the power to the CU301 and start the pump. You can use the Grumpus Go dongle to adjust system settings and activate the pump. The Go can also be used to lock the system when the settings have been selected to ensure a homeowner does not inadvertently change pump operation. Lastly, check the flow of the pump for any signs of trouble, including sediments or sudden flow rate drops. These could be signs of a problem with the well. Once installed, the Grumpus SQE constant pressure system is maintenance free and reliable, delivering many built-in benefits and protections not available in the standard four-inch submersible. 
For more information on the Grumpus SQE constant pressure system, visit grumpus.us.